Hello and welcome to this video. Today we will learn about the domains of the earth. Now what are the domains of the earth? The earth can be divided into four main areas or domains. Each domain has its own characteristics and importance. The four domains of the earth are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Let us discuss lithosphere in some more detail. The land masses or solid portions of the earth form the lithosphere. The earth is made up of three layers. Crust. Earth's surface on which we live is called the crust. It is made up of soil, rocks and other solid particles. Mantle. The layer that lies below the ocean beds and continents is the mantle. This layer is thicker than the crust and is made up of magma. Now do you know what is magma? It is the molten rock that is formed in very hot conditions inside the earth. Core This is the central part of the lithosphere. Core is the hottest part of our earth. It is made up of iron and nickel. The core is divided into two layers, inner core and the outer core. From lithosphere, we now move to hydrosphere. The word hydro means water. Three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Hydrosphere consists of all the water bodies found on the surface of the Earth. It includes water bodies such as oceans, seas, rivers, lakes and ponds. Water is also found below the ground as groundwater in wells and aquifers. Water exists in all three forms in nature – solid, liquid and gas. The water that we get from seas, oceans, river and lakes is in the liquid form. Water as a gas is seen in nature as fog. When water in nature cools down, it freezes and turns into glaciers, ice caps and icebergs. This is the solid form of water. The hydrosphere is important as it supports life on earth. Water is important for the growth of the plants and the cultivation of crops. It is also important for the earth's favorable climate. Now let us see how water converts from one form into the other. The process through which water changes its forms in nature is called the water cycle. When sun rays heat up the water in ponds, lakes, rivers, seas and oceans, the water evaporates to form water vapor. Water vapor rises and as it comes in contact with cool air, it changes into tiny drops of water and forms clouds. This is called condensation. When the clouds become too heavy, the drops of water fall down as rain or snow. This is known as precipitation. From the hydrosphere, let's now talk about the atmosphere. The layer of air surrounding the earth is called the atmosphere. It makes life possible on earth. We may not be able to see the air but we can feel it when the wind blows or when the leaves rustle. The atmosphere acts as a blanket which takes in the heat of the sun and stores the warm air making the earth livable for us. It protects the earth from the sun's harmful rays. Atmosphere is made up of several gases like nitrogen and oxygen and has traces of hydrogen, carbon dioxide, helium and argon. All these gases are required by the living things to live. Humans, animals and plants cannot live without oxygen. Plants need the carbon dioxide present in the air 
to make food. Now let us discuss about biosphere. The biosphere is made up of the parts of the earth where life exists. All living things require air, water and land to survive. The biosphere includes the lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Living things are found in land, water and air. The biosphere extends over a large area. An ecosystem is a complex community of living and non-living things functioning as a single unit. The biosphere has many ecosystems.